the United Kingdom, America's deadbeat dad, <laughs> Boris Johnson, the man who answers the question, what would Kevin McAllister have eventually looked like if his parents <laughs> never came home? It's women. Judging from bathroom signs, basically men who've swallowed a trapezoid. <laughs> the golden arches are so versatile, aren't they? Yes, you can flip them upside down for women, but you can also turn them on their side for eunuchs and turn them on their other side into a three for the actual number of rats you need to make one McRib. <laughs> now, well, I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying that rats are in the McRib, I'm saying they make them. It's disgusting, <laughs> but in a different way. It's like when you see baking soda at the store. You think, I don't need to buy baking soda. I definitely already have baking soda. It's a staple. And then you get home and you're baking a cake and you reach in the cupboard for baking soda and you realise, fuck, women still aren't guaranteed equal rights under the Constitution. <laughs> and is in and of itself ridiculous. I can roast a pig in just four seconds. I'll show you. Hey, pig, your mum fucks pigs. Put an apple in your mouth, you've been roasted. Roasted! I've, been... I've roasted you! If someone stood up at a city council meeting and said, passing this law against animal torture would make it impossible to run my pizza parlour, then holy shit, <laughs> their pizza parlour sh never should have existed in the fucking first place. A, a constitutional amendment like the ERA is more stable because constitutional amendments are safe from Donald Trump, unlike Melania's hopes and dreams and any American flag he gets close to. <laughs> Constitutional amendments are something he cannot easily ruin. For an issue like closing the wage gap, most women would have to continue to rely on other legislation and, of course, stealing from their male co-workers. <laughs> hashtag feminism, hashtag ladyfingers. <laughs> but she's right about that. Arizona could go down in the history books, and let's be honest here, that just doesn't happen much. The most <laughs> famous part of Arizona is the Grand Canyon. You know, the part of Arizona where there's notably less of Arizona. <laughs> Anywhere else, there'd be more Arizona there, but instead, there's just this sudden lack of Arizona, and it's everyone's favourite part. 